Hi, I'm Tara. The slow marching passage of time is ever present. Can you feel it? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an aging time-lapse of selfies so that you can see the changes that you may see every day but don't notice. There are videos where some people have taken a photo every day for years and years. For this example, I'm gonna do a video using selfies that I've just taken um, because that's something I do. Before I show you how it's done, subscribe to our channel for more video tips and tricks. Sometimes I feel I gotta get away. Here we go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is collect all your selfies. If you wanna be really smooth with your video, pick selfies that have a similar pose um, and expression. Now that you have all your photos, go to kapwing.com to bring them together. I'm gonna click get started and then I'm gonna upload my photos one at a time. To do that, I'm gonna click upload and I'm going to organize my photos by date modified. Um, okay, starting in 2015, it's gonna upload and then I'm going to add a scene and upload my next photo. And I'm just gonna keep going through and repeating this process. Can see some of these great images of me. Now that I have all my images uploaded, I can go to resize to decide on the size of the video that I want, but I'm going to go with one by one for Instagram. For each scene, you're going to click the image, click lock aspect ratio to get it to its original size, rotate the image if it needs to be rotated, and then zoom into the image by dragging it as big as it needs to be to fill the screen. And for each subsequent image, you're gonna do the same thing and go back and forth between the image and the image before it to make sure that they're matching up as best as possible. You can adjust your image as best as possible to make them all line up, but if at any point you have an image that doesn't go exactly, just delete it. As you're doing this, or once you're done, you're gonna to go to timeline for each scene and choose 0.1 seconds. Uh, for how long the image is going to stay on screen for. You can also do 0.2 if you want it to go a little bit slower. Um, I also ultimately decided that my first image and my last image would be on screen for one second uh, so that you could see sort of the first and last image for a little bit longer. And at any point you can click play to play the preview from start to finish. When, when I'm happy with my timeline image, I want to add some audio, so I have this song saved. I'm going to click audio, and I'm going to choose The Kids Are All Right, the song by The Who. You can choose whatever music you want. You can use the audio tool at the, in the bottom panel to add your audio, and it will accept audio files and video files that also have audio with them. And you can trim, and you can trim your audio to make it fit perfectly with what you're doing. When I'm happy with my aging time lapse, I'm going to click done. My video is going to load and then I'll be able to download it and share it with whoever I want. Thanks for watching. For more video tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And if you like this video, give us a like. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.